Hello and welcome to this SQLite 3 installation tutorial. This tutorial is brought to you by the Data Craftsman's Guild and we're going to be discussing a lot of great stuff today. So let's go ahead and dive right into setting up and getting SQLite installed on your Windows machine. So first thing that you're going to want to do is come to the SQLite uh, website and come up here and click the downloads page. Now there are a ton of different files that are in here. What we're going to look for is pre-compiled binaries for Windows and you'll see that there are three options. The option that we want to choose for this video and getting set up is this bottom one here. You'll notice that it is in its description it says that it's a bundle of command line tools for managing SQLite database files. Uh, so we really want this particular folder. We're going to go ahead and download it. And then once it's downloaded, we're going to show it and open it in the downloads folder. Now you can see that I've already downloaded this uh, once before, but one thing that we're going to go ahead and do once we're here is we're going to extract all of the information and decompress the file. Um, we're going to go ahead and close this window and you'll notice here now we have a SQLite tools uh, decompressed folder. Now what I would recommend doing is cutting this folder here and pasting it into your C drive and then renaming it SQLite oops and then renaming it SQLite now you can see that I've already done that here, uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that again, but if this was your machine, definitely you'd want to rename that file, and, and if it's your first time uh, getting it set up, make sure you put it on your C drive. We're going to go ahead and look at what's in this file now, and you'll see that there's three application file types. The main one that we're going to be concerned with is this SQLite 3 file here. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and copy the file path here from our C drive. We're going to go ahead and copy it into our environment variables. So just search that on your command line. It should pop up here. I'm going to minimize this. Uh, and then you're going to see down here there's an option for environment variables and we're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, down here in the system variables you're going to select the path and you're going to click edit and you'll notice I have a ton of environment variables here um, and, and basically this just enables us to from the command line pull these different file paths and use the content that's in them. So what I would do if I was installing this for the first time is I would click New and then I'd paste it in there, SQLite 3, C. You can see that I've already done that. Um, so I'm not going to do this again, but what you would do is hit OK and then hit OK here and here. Now the next step would be to create a new folder where you want to store your SQLite 3 databases. Okay, so just an empty folder and we are going to go ahead and use that to store our new database files. So let's go ahead and open up the command line command prompt, I should say. And what we're going to want to do first is we're going to change the directory that we're going to be working in. And we want to change it to this one here. So just copy, and go ahead and paste it in here. I'll try that again. Copy and paste it in there. Okay, now we're in that new folder that we created. And we're going to call SQLite 3, 
And then in order to create a new database, you're just going to say my new database. Okay, and click enter. Now, now that we've entered SQLite, we can edit our database at the command line. Um, but you'll notice that we still don't see it in the files here. And for a lot of you, that might be kind of a big problem because you want to be able to see um, that the database truly does exist. So if you're like me and you want to see that, you want to see the database in the folder, you're just going to type dot data base sys and then it'll run the command and put your database into this um, section here. Okay. That is all that we had for this video, this tutorial and getting set it up with SQLite. If you're interested in learning more, we do have another video that will be focusing on the SQLite Studio and basically how to work with that graphical user interface uh, with your, your new database that you have set up. So go ahead and click on that if you're interested and we'll see you there.